Hello, and welcome back to the Guild Wars Nightfall Let's Play. So, here we are. Uh, we're in Kamadan, and now it's uh, no longer Winter's Day, so this is what it normally looks like. You know, pretty pretty good. Uh, we're going to pick up this extra quest that I apparently missed last time. Hello, I am Kalana. I buy and sell runes. You can apply a rune to your armor and receive inherent bonuses. Alright, missing shipment. Rabon Sun Chaser. I in need of your help. My shipment of ink is late. Three days late. I need the ink to craft my runes, and I have customers waiting. These shipments are normally well prompt, or very prompt. So much tardiness worries me. If you could look into what has caused this delay, I would be willing to give you a useful rune in exchange for your services. The shipments usually come in through the plains of Jaren, so that would be a good place to start looking. Are you interested? You know, yeah, I am. Let's do it. Missing shipment. All right, so the plan here is, remember, our primary is still honing our skills. we got to get to level 5. But we still got a bunch of quests to do. So we're going to be doing a bunch of quests. So let's do that. So we're out here. Back to the plane to Jarn. Ignore the giant robot that's just chilling here. Remember, always talk to the scouts. We want to get these uh, these hunts going. So we got hunting plants. So that's another thing, too. We, need to, we want to raise in the rank of the sun spheres. We can do that by doing this whole thing. Alright, so let's see. What does this guy want? I am the greatest chef in the world. Of course you've heard of me. What an honor of you, for you to help me. I know, I know. You're deeply touched. How wonderful. I have been sent to Istan by Prince Bolka the Magnificent of Vabi. He asked me to collect some specialty, uh, specialty dishes to take home. My lord would very much like to have a bite of savory local cuisines, and it is on my head. Uh, I've heard that Drake Kebab, Scalefin Soup, and uh, Panay Salad... Uh, pan, panai are all fantastic. Go forth and bring me these dishes. De defy those with bland palates. Strike your life of, on spice and vinegar. Stake your life on spice and vinegar. My prince is very wealthy, by the way, and it can be worth your while. Um, sure. I feel a little hungry. <laughs> There's a feast of Boca. So we need to actually pick an objective here. What do we want to do? These are I don't, these were probably from quests. So we'll worry about that later. Uh, let's see. Let's kill this plant. Friend in need. All right, friend in need. Let's do that one. We have so many quests, but we don't know exactly what we want to do. Um, all right, Kina. I see you have brought company as I recommended. Good. When you are venturing out here in the wilds, you will have extra help dealing with the beasts of the area. Some people think they can uh, they can handle their handle everything out there on their own. Of course, they don't tend to live very long. <laughs> it's good to see you're smart enough to find assistance. Uh, identify. Identif okay, that's a little far. Uh, hidden threat. Uh, we could do hidden threat, sir. Material. Oh, material girl's closer. Let's do that one. Material girl's next. That's the next closest. And not only do we want experience, which is nice in what we're getting, but we also want the that Sun Spear rep. And then we get that extra 15 attribute points, and that's a huge power boost right there. Attribute points, nothing to scoff at. It's cool just throwing the spears at people and just watching them die. It's just saying, like, yeah! Bleed! Lightning! Very easy to dodge, though. They just strife a little bit. There, they'll be fine. Oh, we got a, we got a boss, Lene Stormbringer. Um, uh, pop this bad boy. There we go. Hey, Koss leveled up. Good job, Koss. Dead. Boom. Beautiful. I think that was easy. What are they gonna do? No, that's the imp. <laughs> He's so tiny and little. He's so cute. All right. Haley? I am helping my father now, but one day I'll plan to open my own shop and trade only the rarest materials. Just wait and see. All right. I can't believe this. I know he means well, but my father worries about me too much. Now he's sending adventurers to find me? I'm almost 18, but he thinks I'm a helpless little girl? <laughs> I'm only late because of these killer Iboga. I've been farming plant fibers out here for years, but for some reason these plants are getting stronger and tougher recently. Can you help me by killing a few? Yeah. Kill ten. Okay. Yeah. Kill. Go on a killing spree. I'm down for that. So there's a bunch of these. Like, these are such an interesting enemy. Just look at these. They're, they're like snake plants. Look at these. Like, what are we even fighting? You see this? 
Like, what is this? They're literally like killer snake plants. Guild Wars has the weirdest enemies. I love it. Man, Guild Wars enemy designs are so cool. Guild Wars 2 doesn't even touch half the coolness of, of Guild Wars 1 when it comes to some of the enemy designs. Some of these creatures in this land is just weird. I mean, I love it personally. I think it's great. I love what I like really wacky out there designs. I right, up to six. Almost done. You kill a little bit more. Uh, anything new? Nope. You already have the same bounty. All right, let's go. Fire for everybody. Look at that. I love it. Two more? Two more to go. Oh, let's do it. Is that... Oh, wait. Is this the giant crack in the world that leads to Eye of the North? I'm curious now. It very well might be. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just a crack in the earth that has always existed since the dawn of time. Why do I feel like... There might be a quest to come back here later. I feel like this is how you get to Eye of the North here. Each campaign has a way to get to the Eye of the North. Um, which is the last, which would be like the last expansion. Badly. I hate saying that. I wish there was more. Guild Wars 1 deserves more, you guys. Like, personally, you know what I would love? I would love if Guild Wars 1 had some way for, like, people to make their own maps and, like, do their own, like, basically just, like, a ability to just make your own game out of the Guild Wars engine. So people could just make their own content and you could play it, like mods and stuff. Dude, it'd be so cool. You know? All, all, it's like, yeah, sure. Okay, you, what if they're, they're like, oh, but it's always online, so we can't do that. Then, like, I don't know, make an offline mode. You can pretty much play this entire game without needing an actual server. Like, you don't need to play online with people. You really don't. Like, put, download the entire game, the locations and everything. Make it so that when you go into a town, yeah, you might be the only one in a town now. But, like, that's fine. At least it lets people play it. And then you could add your own stuff. Oh, it'd be so cool. I just, I think that'd be awesome. That'd be such a cool thing. The, the, the pop, it, ha, ha. I'm getting rock hard just thinking about it. Mm. All right. Thanks for the help. Will you let my father know that I'm all right? He gets so worked up over nothing sometimes. All right, material girl complete. Missing shipment, way over there. Need more stuff. Oh yeah, the juvenile termite, le termite legs, we'll find that. All right, I guess we're gonna go, uh, we're heading straight over to the Sun Sphere Great Hall, then let's go. Move termite. Yeah, let's kill the termite, just in case we might get a leg. For the collector who collects collections. Well, it died, but no luck on that one. You're a spider. Spiders don't count. Just look at... I don't know. I like the, the, the fields. Not the field, but I guess like the... The land. I don't know what you want to call it. The savannah? I guess it's the savannah, right? Or, or, or it's inspired by the savannah. Ooh, these are strong boys. Yeah, plants, plants, plants don't like fire. These guys are gonna talk again. So let's actually hear this conversation. Let's get this conversation out of the way. Listen closely, Apono, for I will tell you my famous tale. There was when I was walking through the Echobald Forest when suddenly I found myself face to face with a black moa in a clutch of eggs. Uh, uh, Naduka is telling the black moa story again. Doesn't he know that we all think it's a fake? It was the most amazing creature I had ever seen. A black moa as dark as the night ocean. Behind her was a nest full of eggs. While I was in the bushes, another hunter emerged from the forest. I can only assume she, too, was in search of this mystical creature. But this black moa was, was canny. It heard her coming and yet didn't move a muscle. She approached and out of nowhere the beast attacked her, knocking her to the forest floor. Of course, at this point... I had to act quickly, so I ran out to save the other hunter, despite the danger to myself. Sadly, I was one heartbeat too late, and she pecked out one of her eyes right out of her skull. Terrible. 
I will have nightmares of this horrible sight for years to come. She was so grateful to the that she survived that she gave me two of the eggs from the nest. Tore out her eye. I bet she didn't see that coming. Ha! I mean, that's terrible. <laughs> Where are the eggs now? I know this is part of the story well. She lost her precious eggs. Isn't that right, Naduka? All lies, I tell you. Naduka is no hunter. I am a mighty hunter, Yapono. You'll see. I will go and bring back an impressive pet to prove it. You'll see. Don't hurt yourself trying, Naduka. Pets are for real hunters, not for tale tellers like you. So this person here, Naduka. He's talking about the black moa. What do you do with the animals you collect? I'm a simple soul. Oh, ooh, now he's got an actual quest for me now. You gotta listen to that long speech about the black moa. He's talking about Joe, by the way. The the hunter uh, henchman in factions. She can she tracks the black moa and stuff. She has an eye patch? Yeah. I found out that the horrible tales of the black moa bird are true. There are vicious little buggers that kill most of their pursuers, so there are very few who can tell the tale. I have even learned the secrets of hatching and raising black moas, and yet everyone laughs at me. I cannot find a black moa, let alone a black moa egg, but perhaps I could tame an impressive warthog and show these Istani that I am a hunter to be reckoned with. I believe your story, Naduka. Uh, Naduka, yeah. Let's show uh, Yapono that you can, uh, that you're more than just talk. I drive the escort him now. Yep, it's awful. Perhaps the others are right. I am not a great hunter, but I want to be. And I did see a black moa bird. I used to have a way with animals, but I lost it. I think my fear of the black moa bird and the fact that people don't believe me has really hurt my self confidence. Animals can sense that. Let me see. Uh, they avoid me. The truth of the matter is, the other hunter saved my life, not the other way around. The black moa has attacked me, and she drove it away. In return, that moa took her eye. I never thought that a creature would make me look over my shoulder everywhere I go, but the battle with the black moa has really affected me. If only people believed me, maybe I wouldn't feel so alone. Are you coming with? Yeah, he is. Okay. Impressive warthog. Yeah, I didn't know they put me in this game. Ha 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 ha! I got it. Get it? I'm like, I'm. Never mind. He's not. A, he's not as impressive as Oink. Aye! What was that? What? Oh, thank Melandru. It was just a warthog. But what an impressive animal! I must take it as my pet. And I don't know why uh, Poturi is following us too. Stay close and make certain nothing disturbs me while I charm the beast. And there you go, little one. Don't be afraid. You're the best warthog in the entire world, aren't you? Oh, God. Where do these guys come from? This is literally what he said. Don't let this happen. That's what he wanted. He asked one thing from me. Oh, burn. Have some of these nice tubers. There you go. Tubers? Tubbers? Don't eat them all at once. You we're going to be good friends, aren't we? Let's head back and show everyone my new precious little warthog. There. Now he's got a pet warthog. Isn't that? Isn't that cute? And I see like a port. There's a there's a portal way over there. Oh well. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I know that there's. I think there's. Piece of Boca, no big theft. Missing ship. Yeah, the shipment. The shipment's up here. Let's do this one. We can get a whole bunch done in one big old swoopity doobity. Sue Wash. Let's do Sue Wash. He's down here then. Defeat the group of Corsairs raiding group that took Sue Wash. Sue Wash is that kid who likes to dress up like he's a pirate, but he's not really a pirate, I guess. So we'll head that way next. Sounds like a plan to me, right? I think that's pretty good. 10 out of 10. Good plan, good plan. And then I think... Yeah, hog, hog hunt's fine. Miss, missing shipment's fine. Identity theft uh, it requires me to go to the other one. A hidden threat. Oh, that's actually right over here. Okay, we can do a hidden threat too. So we can do hidden threat. And then... To wash the pirate, but let's do hidden threat first.
Look at all those spiders. Oh, oh shit. Get him. Too bad I don't have a bounty for these guys. That'd be nice. Oh, behind us. We're not done yet. Oh, you're a boss? Karyom Rockbreaker? Hey, leave my friend alone! Don't run, don't run too far over there. You're gonna pull the spiders. Okay, there's a thing. Don't pull, don't pull the spiders over there. We'll regret that. There we go. There we go. Holy crap, Aroni. Well, that was an ordeal, huh? Jeez. Also, termite. Need to kill that termite. This is running off. Slow down. Follow um, Alon Bell as he patrols the western riverbank. All right. You see, like, this little area is cool. Ooh, what's that? Is that the Astralarium? That might be the, uh, that, uh, that might be the Astralarium. That's another thing that's in Guild Wars 2 is the Astralarium. It's pretty cool. Oh, let me talk to the Suns for Scout. Yeah, hand me the bounty. What's this? For scale, huh? Oh, a bunch of termites. Perfect. Can we please tell me you're going to aggro all those termites? You're running right in to fight them, right? You gonna, you're gonna fight? Don't just. Sh she's just gonna run off, and I'm gonna have to fight him. Now he's gonna run off and get get himself killed. I mean, some of these guys aren't fighting. I'm kind of okay with that. All right, if he stays there, that'll be good. Ooh, iron, iron drink. Level ten, boy. Drop your legs. Give me your legs. One of these guys will gotta give me the legs. Legs. Leg. Drop a fucking leg. Ugh. Leg. Leg. <laughs> the leg. Come on. Are you kidding me? Are we seriously just getting denied at every turn? Come on. Probably be better to come out here by myself and just kill a few. Get all the loot myself. Wow, sad face. Very sad face. Well, there's more over there. Uh, my sandals are all wet now. Oh, we're going, we're like going right up. Is this it? Oh, yeah, it's Astralarium. Oh, okay. I kind of want to go in the Astralarium, though, now. You gotta follow the quest. I'm sure eventually we'll get a quest to go to the actual Astralarium, but right now we don't need to worry about it. It's about time you showed up. I thought maybe you betrayed us. Of course, if you had. Save your threats. I have the information you wanted, and I expect to be paid. Now, the main Sun Spirit patrols are still poised along the east bank of the river. Did you hear that? Curse you, Elbanol. You were followed. To battle, brothers. Oh, I was following... Oh, I didn't even pay attention to the quest line. I was following him. Lol. Here I am thinking he's a good guy. Oh, good. Well, fuck this guy. <laughs> That's one. That's another one dead. 
proper chilling. All right, they're all dead. Those fools. Well, now I feel like I need to. So then we can just teleport. No, because I need to go back with the hog. Otherwise, I lose the thing for the hog. We'll come back. We'll get here. There'll be a time where we go into the Australarium because we'll have to. But I'm pretty sure there's a quest line that will actually bring us there. If not, we'll go there eventually. But I need, if I want to complete hog hunt, I need to go actually bring the Dooku back. So I need to actually get him there. Can't do identity theft. Missing shipment I can do. That's done. I still need a termite. Termite legs, which I could maybe get over here. Actually, let's let's uh, kill these guys real quick and see what we get. You never know. And proof of courage is already set. We're good on that one. That's what that's the whole point. Oh no, it isn't. Proof of courage is the yeah, the one that we just did. <laughs> so we're doing alright. Oh, get out of here. No, these are the scales, I guess. Right? Yes. Bleed. Thank you. All right, termites. I wish I had an AOE. I do not. Come on. No, oh, I don't need a scythe. I don't know who dropped the scythe, but I don't know. Oh, what? I didn't even know there was a fight going on over there. Come on. Come on. Ooh, it's Dan Key. All right. That's cool. Not really what I was thinking about, but all right. I'll take it. Oh, wait, it's because also, wait, I think there's a key weekend going on, so keys and lockpits are dropping more often. Oh, that's my only one, so I guess I don't have enough data to really say that, but. Damn, dude. All that murdering and not a single leg. Alright, you guys ready for this? These guys are gonna be a little tricky. Like, they're gonna try to kill us. Few things are more satisfying than burning and setting somebody on fire at the same time. It's a good feeling. All right, here we go. Going in deep. How about not? Get out of here. A wizard? They have a Corsair wizard? They have a freaking wizard? That's pretty cool. I, I want to be a wizard. Bad Lance. Oh, we gotta get that Corsair chest, huh? Is that what it wants? Notch sword acquired. What was it? A, what? A notched sword? What quest item is this? Quest updated. Proof of proof of courage. Okay. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Meet Pretori, kill the person, retrieve the Pretori sword. Meet Pretori for... I have no idea what's going on anymore. Whatever. Mission complete. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with that quest. Uh, where's Suwash? Suwash is like right over there. It's good to have my own sword back. No one will dare mock me now. Thank you, Ruban. There you go. They're holding a staff. There's only 10 promotion points? Wow, it's way faster just to kill stuff, huh? Damn. 
Where's my Corsair bounty, huh? Give me that. These guys are only level one. S sucks to suck. I mean, the Corsair has always been an interesting concept. Like, I wonder if it'll ever be an elite spec to be a Corsair. But I didn't find Suwash. Where was it? Find and defeat the Corsair raiding group that took Suwash, who defeated one of four possible groups. Oh, this is gonna. Oh, okay. I gotta go on an entire. This is a murder spree. We're not looking for one person. We're literally just killing everything. All right. I can respect this decision. Just kill them all. Yep. Want to explore this watery hole a little area? Uh, I'm gonna kill the termites again in the hopes that one of them drops a freaking leg. Gotta keep killing the damn it. Drop a leg. No, oh, another Istan key. That's so great. Too bad it doesn't. Mm. There's Suwash though. Level six? It's a little rough. All right, let's kill these last Corsairs. Let's wrap this up. Kill them. Oh, there. Who wash? Remember, who wash just like to dress up. He's a dress up. Sure, a Corsair's life would be the only life for me. Yar, so it was me, mother, that sent ye out to save me. While as I pr appreciate the effort, I've decided that life o'er a Corsair tis the life for me. And now that he's slain these scurvy Corsairs, I figures their ship be the first thing I loot for myself. Tell me, mother, I'm not be back until my name is feared all over all the lands, or until old Bile Unger comes to m comes over me. A herbal Unger comes over me, whichever happens first. So he's like, I'll be home once I'm hungry. Basically what I got out of that. <laughs> Alright, well, here we are. Turning, I'm gonna go turn this in. Show him his hog. Don't take that out of context. Everyone, meet my warthog. I'm gonna name him Porkchop. A name fit for a champion warthog. I told you I would find a real pet and bring it back with me. See you guys, what did I tell you? I took on your challenge and succeeded. Porkchop and I are friends for life. And I am the mightiest hunter of all. Wow, Yapono, what a wonderful warthog. Did you see him? Naduka is so brave. I would have never believed it. Well done, Naduka. Looks like I may have underestimated you. Don't just impress a warthog. Maybe now we'll believe in me about the black mole bird. Either way, I don't need them anymore. I have pork chop, and he's my best friend. You have no idea how much your kindness has done. I have a new pet friend, and the other hunters are finally starting to listen to my story about the Black Moa. Do me a favor, though, and keep quiet about our little arrangement. Porkchop and I both thank you for your help. Oh, hey, cost level up. Good job, cost. All right, now let's go turn. I gave some ten more points. Good, good. And let's uh, let's go turn it. Bunch of quests in right now. He's off to live the life of a Corsair, you say? Dropping the first letter of certain words? Disgusting. Even in the face of death, he refuses to grow up. That's Sue Wash in a nutshell. Don't you worry about it. He'll be back in time to eat, and then I'll tan his hide a bright shade of red for making me worry. You just give him a bunch of spangins. He's a grown man. Thank you for saving his life anyway. Please take this for your trouble. <laughs> what was ass, ma? Now that you've reached the rank of Sunspear Master Sergeant, you'll need to take greater responsibility for the well-being of the heroes under your command. With this in mind, I present to you the Sunspear Rebirth Signet. Only you can equip the only you can equip this skill. Your heroes will not be able to use it. Use this signet wisely, and you may overcome even the most difficult of foes. Thank you. It will be an honor. 
to the Sun Spears. Well done, Ruban. Well done. Pretty sure you'll all be saluting you. Congratulations on achieving the rank of Sun Spear Master Sergeant. I guess I got that art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in that, we're going to use our Sun Spear Rebirth Signet. It's basically like a Resurrection Signet, except we can do it from... It will teleport them to you. So it, te it, it teleports them to you. So it's slightly better. I like it personally. I think it's a little good. A little better. Uh, rising in the ranks. First Spear. The Order of the Sun Spear rewards honor and bravery. As you progress through your career, not only will you gain new titles, additional power, and further responsibilities. Once you earn enough promotion points to the rank of the game, First Spear, you'll earn 15 additional attribute points to see. Alright, sounds good to me. Now you got to become First Spear. But it should also mean that I currently have... Yeah, 15 unspent points. Okay, let's do... Um... Mental leadership. I haven't really done any of these. I don't really have any abilities unlocked yet, so I don't really know what my build's gonna be. So for now, I've just been jacking up. Let's jack up that spear. Oh, look at that. Boom. All right. <laughs> uh, hidden threat. It's over here. Turn that in. You have confirmed my suspicious friend. You have confirmed my suspicions, friend. Such a pity, but I have long felt there was more to El uh, Bell than met the eye. By dealing with him and his Corsair allies, you have done us all a great service. But I still have concerns that there may be other Corsairs within our ranks. I fear El Bell will may, have, may not have been working alone. We shall have to be doubly vigilant. Thank you for your courage, and may the sun guide you. You know, turn in these things. Material girl. He's on the other one. Missing shipment is the other one. Uh, all right. Let me go to Commandant. You know, actual people playing the game. All right. We can turn this in. Wash the shore, you say? This isn't good. Not good at all. Looks like we'll need to find another supplier. Well, here's the rune of minor vigor, I promised you. To equip the rune, double-click it in your inventory and place it on a piece of armor you want to put it into. Once you place a rune into a piece of armor, the only way to get it out is to salvage the armor with an expert or superior salvage kit. A regular salvage kit won't do the trick. This will destroy the armor, but you'll have a chance to get your rune back. Good luck. So that gives us a rune of minor vigor. But we're going to wait until we get an armor upgrade first. Boom. All right, and then last but not least, mm. well, of course, all the way on the other damn side. Some of the winter things are still active, as you can see. <laughs> Thank you for helping my darling Pele. I know she's growing up, but in my eyes, she'll always be my precious little girl. Here's a salvage kit for your trouble. It's a, ma it's a material trader's best friend. Anyone can collect materials from slain monsters, but if you use the salvage kit on weapons and armor you no longer need, you can turn that old junk into useful materials that can be used to craft other things. Any and all materials you don't need for crafting, you can always sell to me. And I can't take that because I have so much junk. Um, get the battle combinations. We'll just, I guess we just get, get rid of this. It's fine. Expert salvage kit. All the better. Well, that's, no, I need to, need to put some stuff away in the bank first. But all right. Uh, I think we're pretty good, though. I think we're in a good spot. That's um, all our primary things. We'll have to do the Feast of Boca. We'll have to do, uh, it's like three, I believe it's, oh, so here we go. We need one from Kamadan, a Drake Bob from Chef. Okay, there's one person here I can talk to. There's a, another one in Australia and another one in Champion's Dawn. Interesting, interesting. Um, but I gotta sell some of this stuff, put some stuff away and do some inventory shuffle. But uh, yeah, in the next one, we're gonna be able to, we'll continue honing our, our skills here and progress the main story events. And then we'll uh, do some more questing after that and working on our Sunspear rank. 
Can I actually equip the rank yet? Do we get there high enough yet where I can use it? Oh, uh, okay. We did rank up, but I can't. You still can't use it. You must be a Sunspear Commander before you can even wear this title. Oof. Well, we're up there. We're, we're rank two, so we're, we're getting there. It's got to start somewhere. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Till then, stay super.